for domain and range of linear functions, it's very important that we know the vocabulary for those. On domain, this is always all of your x values. And for the range, this is your y values. A good way to remember which one is x and which one is y is domain comes before range in the dictionary and x comes before y in the dictionary. For discrete, this is whenever your graph only contains dots, which is just um, specific information, so your graph may look like this. For continuous, it will have a connected line. which may go on forever or it may not. <clears throat> so you can have a graph that goes on forever in either direction, or you can have a graph that has endpoints. Continuous just means that those dots are connected. So for the first problem, this says, a set of weights includes a four pound barbell and six pairs of weight plates. Each pair of plates weighs 20 pounds. If X pairs of plates are added to the barbell, the total weight of the barbell and plates can be, be represented by, and we have this equation. What is the range of the function for this situation? So range is our Y values. <clears throat> it says we can add up to six pairs of weight plates. So if we add up to six, that means we can have six different totals for our y or f of x value. So if we add one plate, then we would have 20 times one plus four, which is 24. If we add two plates, we would have 20 times two plus four, which is 44. If we add three plates, 64, four plates, 84, five plates, 104, and six plates, 124. So we can go through and we can go look for our answer. Keep in mind, you can also add zero plates, in which case you would only have four pounds. So we would go through and find our answer which matches, which is letter B. On the second problem, it says, which the graph of part of linear function G is shown on the grid. Which inequality best represents the domain? Now remember, domain was our X. So immediately I can go cross off H and J, because remember, g of x means the same thing as y, so it cannot be h or j. Whenever we go look at our domain, we look from furthest left to furthest right. This goes from negative 9 to positive 2. <clears throat> Both of these have negative 9 to positive 2. The difference here is these symbols. So if we look on the left side, we have an open circle, and on the right side, we have a closed circle. The open circle matches with the just less than symbol, and the closed circle matches with the less than or equal to. So our answer must be F. It's very important to pay attention to the symbols. Now we have a real world situation, and it says a student rode a bike from a school to a recreation center. The graph shows the student's distance in miles from the recreation center after riding the bike for X minutes. What is the range of this situation? So remember, range is Y. So if we look at our Y axis, we're gonna go from lowest to highest. This goes from zero to nine. H talks about 28, that's the domain. F talks about 28, that's the domain. <clears throat> for letter G, it says all real numbers greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to nine. J just says all real numbers less than or equal to nine, which also includes negatives.
In this case, it does not go below zero, so our answer must be G. On the last one, the total cost in dollars to buy uniforms for the players on a volleyball team can be found using this function, and they give you an equation. U is the number of uniforms. If there are at least eight players, but not more than 12 players on the team, what is the domain of the function? So domain, remember, is X. In this case, our X corresponds with the letter U. That means our answer cannot include the letter C. So G cannot be it. So we would go through and we would calculate how many uniforms can we get? Because our U stands for uniforms. It says from eight to 12, so that means at least eight and not more than 12 players. Remember, players are whole numbers. So this has to be a discrete function, which would be letter H. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 are the only possible numbers of players that we can do.